guys, Jack Rivington here, and I'm going to be showing you how I take my hockey stick. I have the Bauer 1X 2016 edition, and to do this, you're going to need a roll of white tape. I use Howie's. Roll of black tape, Howie's once again. Roll of red grip tape, that's what I use for my team colors. Uh, and all of these products are Howie's. Some wax, a pair of scissors. A sharpie. I like to start on top and I do it a little bit different than most people I know. What I do is I take the tape and I decide how long I want to go with my grip tape and I go like this. So I'm gonna probably gonna do it to there. So I'll take the tape, go with that. run it up to the top here. The reason I do it this way is I find it creates less uh, friction between the under tape and the grip tape. Therefore the grip tape lasts longer. And if you're going to do a long grip like this, it saves a little bit of tape. And if you're like me and you tape your stick every ice time, saving tape is always a good thing because that's saving money. And just No creases in it, or I didn't really matter, but that's how I like it. No creases. Flatten it all out. Let's like that. And once again, do the process on here and on there. So I'll just do that really quick. Like so. Make sure it's all flat. Flatten it over here. Over. Put it all down there. Rip it and then place it. And so once you're to this step, Flatten it all down, make sure it's nice and snug. And what I like to do is I like to try and make it as even as possible. So try and make it as even as the last strip you place. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're just going to cover it up at the end anyways. But try and get it as close as you can. So I'm going to peel this piece up a little bit. Cut it like so. Put your scraps over there, make sure I'm still right after. And flatten it down. Move it over. And you are good to start with the grip tape. So then I take the grip tape. I start on the bottom. This is the pro stuff, so the pro howies, you have to pull it really, really tight to get it good. And what you do is start going up. Flatten it down as you go. Keep it as flat as possible. You can obviously go quicker, but one of my superstitions is that if the tape pattern isn't the same, it's not just as bad as having it creased. So I'm going to try and keep the pattern really good. So therefore it takes a bit longer. And what I like to do is I like to uh, pull it up over the top here and kind of do it like you would do the blade of a stick. Rip it. 
and yeah, I just do like what you do and to play a mistake where you kind of go over the top and cut it at the end. And then fold it up a little bit. Make sure it's all sealed tight. Just do a little bit of a twist. And then flatten it down or cut it. I'll just cut it. And then just get it on the ground. Make sure it's all rolled up tight. Just pat it all down there. Get your white tape here. And just pull it around. And that's just why I said it doesn't need to be completely perfect underneath. You're just going to cover it up with this anyways. I go around twice. Grab my scissors. Cut it. I always try and end it on one of the sides, right on the corner. And you get your Sharpie of whatever color. And you write your number. So on number nine, so there'll be a nine on there. Number nine on the other hand, and number nine on the back hand. Make sure it's on there nice and good. And now the part you guys probably want to see. Take your black tape. I start from the heel and go to the toe. And I just like this. on the top trying to keep the pattern as good as possible. Starts to get tricky near the end. I have to tell here. This is where it starts to get tricky. Alright, so as you get to the end here, I like to go right over the tail here. And so what you do is once you get the little excess here, you start folding it. So it's like these little flaps here. You kind of fold them. So this is where it takes a little bit longer. here. Just fold it. Fold it again. And last piece. And then you just want to seal it all off. Make sure you don't cut into the blade or anything. Just fold it over. Get scissors. And just cut it off. Cut as close to the blade as I can. 
then I grab my wax. My wax. I start on the back end. And I go half with this. Like so. Make sure you get nice and good on there. Something different with me is I only do half of the blade and then the whole toe. I don't really know why I just do. Make sure you get it nice on the bottom. I don't want your tape ripping under there. And there you have it. How I take my hockey stick. So, show you a little bit of the forehand, a little bit of the backhand. Grip. Blade for par. Backhand. Thanks for watching.